Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video I'm going to show you some more calculator skills for your GCSE and A level maths. In particular a little help to check uh, your factorising of quadratic expressions. Okay so this video like I said I want you to be able to use the calculator to check a factorisation of a quadratic expression. Not to do it as such but to check you haven't made a mistake in, in an exam. So, imagine you're asked to factorise the following. Okay, imagine you're asked to factorise this expression here. Uh, you should know how to do this. It's two numbers that multiply to 12, okay, and add up to positive 7. And the numbers are uh, positive 3 and positive 4. So we would factorise that as x plus 3, x plus 4. No problems. Okay, now just by way of an example, there's no need to check this one in an exam because it's quite straightforward, but just to show you how it works, you get your calculator, mode, equation, it's a quadratic equation. We have A is equal to 1, the B is equal to 7, and the C is equal to 12. If you press equal there, it tells you that your two solutions, you have X is equal to negative 3 is a solution and then it tells you that x is equal to negative 4 is a solution x is equal to negative 4 is a solution adding 3 to both sides it must mean that x plus 3 is 0 and x plus 4 is 0 and they are the two factors x plus 3 x plus 4 okay so that's how you could check now that was a simple case but let's do it in slightly more complicated case to check how you're doing. So we want to factorise the following. Again I would expect you to be able to do this, okay? Um, so we're thinking of, uh, it must be a 2x uh, here and an x here to get us the 2x squared and we're, and we're multiplying to 3. So obviously the numbers are 3 and 1 uh, or positive 3, um, uh, so it's either 3 and 1, positive 3, positive 1, or negative 3, negative 1. They're the only two things that can multiply to positive 3. It turns out that it's the following. Okay, so you should be able to do that, but let's check on the calculator. Again, we're going to go to mode, equation, and quadratic, which is number 3. Uh, it's 2x squared, so 2 for A, negative 7 for B, and positive 3 for C. And it tells us the solutions are x is 3 and x is a half. So we know that x is equal to 3 and x is equal to a half are solutions. So subtracting 3 off both sides, x subtract 3 must be 0. And on this side, doubling and then taking away 1, 2x subtract 1 must be 0. And here, x subtract 3, 2x subtract 1, there are two factors. Okay, I've seen one like this. Uh, flying around in some books before. We want to factorise that. Now you've got to think of uh, two numbers that multiply uh, to something massive, etc. Uh, let's try this on the calculator as a check method. So we can go, um, we're going to go mode, equation, and number three. Our a is equal to 13, our b is equal to negative 6, and our c is equal to negative 99. Okay, it tells us that x is 3, and x is negative 33 over 13. So let's write that down. x is equal to 3, or x is equal to negative 33 over 13. Subtracting 3 off both sides, x subtract 3 is 0. Multiplying by 13 and then adding the 33, we would get 13x plus 33 is equal to 0. Just to be clear, from there to there, we first multiply by 13, and then we add 33 to both sides. And there are two factors, okay? So therefore, I can say that this factorises as x subtract 3, 13x plus 33. And indeed, it does do that if you check that out. So there we are. That's how to check uh, your factorising of quadratics in the exam. Not to do, you should be able to do without this, but check your answers. So here's one for you to do yourself. I'll put the answers up in um, 10 seconds. Okay, and you should have been able to factorise this as follows.
Okay, so hopefully you got that, but hopefully you were able to check that on your calculator. And what you would have done is mode five uh, quadratics, and it's two x squared subtract one x and subtract three. You go like that. You get x is equal to three over two, and x is equal to one, uh, negative one even. So x equals negative one. Add one to both sides. X plus one is zero. So that's a factor. And the other side of things here, we got x is equal to three over two. So x equals three over two. Double both sides and subtract three. We get two x subtract three is zero. Hence, that's the other factor. And that's how to do this uh, with your calculator. Thanks loads for watching. Hope you found that useful.